why do you think people love Line of Duty and the world of Line of Duty so much? I think because it doesn't pander to an audience. It makes them work. They have to think for themselves. And just when they think they're one step ahead of the story, um, the story itself pulls the rug from underneath the audience. So it's a constant guessing game. It was very hard for me to watch uh, series four because there wasn't that much of a breather for me. And also, um, Dot was sort of in series four as well. And, you know, anyway, for people who haven't seen that, I don't want to give anything away. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. But more importantly, I'm looking forward to getting involved with uh, the Line of Duty podcast. Tell us a little bit more about the Line of Duty podcast. Well, um, I got approached by the BBC because I've been hosting my own podcast for the last three and a half years. Um, so I've been sort of, you know, to use that awful phrase, finding my own voice, because what a lot of things, what actors don't like to do is be themselves. Uh, but I sort of took the plunge and started interviewing people a few years ago. We'll bring on sort of super fans and celebrity guests each week, and we'll go through the episode, we'll dissect it, We'll look at fan theories, we'll play some games. It's, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really excited, yeah. And uh, just finally, Craig, uh, who who is H? Uh, I'll tell you after we stop recording. <laughs>